the youngest and fastest growing segment of Canada's aging population is Aboriginal. But statistics also show this vital demographic has one of the highest secondary school dropout rates in the country. Well, former Prime Minister Paul Martin is tackling this immense challenge through the Martin Aboriginal Education Initiative. We spoke with him at his Montreal office about the charitable organization. So, Mr. Martin, thank you so much for joining us. Tell us about the Martin Aboriginal Education Initiative and what the mission is. Well, the most significant gap in Aboriginal education as compared to the education provided other Canadians really is in early learning, elementary school, and secondary school. Um, and so we're really focusing in that area, primarily elementary school and secondary school. The initiative was established in 2008 after Martin left politics. The aim was to create a variety of educational projects designed to give Aboriginal Canadians specific tools and opportunities to succeed. The number of dropouts compared to other Canadians is huge. The quality of education because of government underfunding uh, is simply not acceptable. And we really decided that we want to focus on that area where we can make perhaps the most, the most do the most good and, and get the greatest amount of improvement. On reserve, uh, as an example, our dropout rate is pretty well 60%, uh, 43% uh, off reserve, which is just staggering compared to what the dropout rates are for, for other Canadians. You cannot deny, uh, in a country of 34 million people competing with countries like China with a billion two, that if you, what you do is turn your back on the youngest and the fastest growing segment of your population, that you're not denying Canadian talent the opportunity to succeed. Martin says that in addition to schools on reserves receiving 20 to 40 percent less funding on a per capita basis compared to what the provinces do, remnants of the residential school system are still being felt. He explains how the Martin Aboriginal Education Initiative is striving to level the playing field. So what we have done is we've reached out to leading educators uh, and we're taking programs that work elsewhere or programs that we develop, whether they be in literacy in terms of elementary schools, whether they have our business program, um, which gives Aboriginal kids really probably the best business course, we think, that's extant in Canada at the present time. They work closely with numerous community partners across the country who help implement the programs, like the Model School Projects at two elementary schools on reserves in southwestern Ontario. We took a very successful literacy program developed by the government of Ontario some 10 years ago and we brought it into those schools and working with the, the chiefs, the band councils and the teachers and the principal where we've got, I mean, there, there, there are some very strong ab uh, Aboriginal educators and, we, and what we have done is brought this course that Ontario developed but we brought it into the schools and, and I must say I, when you see the results among the kids, it, it, it's amazing. Other initiatives? the Accounting Mentorship Program, and the Aboriginal Youth Entrepreneurship Program. It essentially teaches them everything from financial literacy to marketing to accounting, and it's a tremendously accessible course. And what we did is we reached out uh, to the Nelson Publishing Company to work with us on those books. We reached out to the ministries of education in the provinces, the educational leaders in, within the First Nations, the Métis Nation, and the Inuit to basically work with us. And it's been tremendously successful, and it's expanding. Through the course, Aboriginal culture, traditions and role models are highlighted, showing grade 11 and 12 students they too can be business people. But what really made it take off was one day, after we had done it for a couple of years, we got two of our teachers to take a year off. And those two teachers went away and they developed the first set of Indigenous workbooks and textbooks for Aboriginal kids um, that's ever been done. We are all here today because Craig and Mark Kielberger told us that we could change the world. If I said to you that there's a Métis student in Western Canada who isn't going to a good enough school, do you want to change his or her world? Free the Children is one of their many community partners helping to make a difference.
What we designed along with Free the Children was essentially, here's a course in Aboriginal history, and here's how you can reach out. And then they simply go to the schools and they ask the teachers and the principals if they'd like to take a look at this. And 400 schools have, uh, have responded and said, yes, they, they, they would like to do that. Martin notes his organization often gets calls from individuals and groups eager to volunteer or become mentors. We're now in, with 10 major accounting firms in 10 cities across Canada, really providing internships to young Aboriginals. When people hear about that, they say, well, we, we'd like to be a mentor. We want to help these students. We want to work. The organization continues to create and develop pilot projects, all in an effort to improve education at the elementary and secondary school levels for Aboriginal Canadians. The Martin Aboriginal Education Initiative is working at creating and maintaining ongoing strategic partnerships across the country. Reporting from Montreal, Quebec, I'm Heather Seaman.